I got a right to sing the blues. I got a right to moan inside. I got a right to sit and cry down around the river. Mm. I love boxes. Whoa, what's that music? Oh, that's just Billy. Oh no, she sounds pretty sad. Yeah, don't go nuts. Billy's just got the blues again. Oh. I suppose that's just the way I am. So you've always been blue? Yeah, well, she's made with gallium nitride. Gallium what? Wait, what are you talking about? Well, Adabot, inside every LED is a small crystal. Really? When you connect the short leg of an LED to ground, and the longer leg to positive voltage, voila! The crystal glows and the LED lights up. Very cool. So, electricity flowing through an LED's crystal creates light. But why are LEDs certain colors in the first place? The type of crystal used in an LED determines that LED's color. Oh, interesting. A red LED like me uses a type of crystal made of gallium arsenide. That's two elements, gallium and arsenic, mixed together. I use an aluminum gallium crystal to get so green. And indium gallium nitride is what makes me so blue. Oh, so different crystals make different colored light. Yeah. But I've also seen LEDs that change color. How do they do that? Well, we usually call those color-changing LEDs RGB LEDs. Hey, I've got an RGB LED right here. Oh, good. Let's take a closer look to see how they work. We call them RGB because inside every one of them are three different types of crystals. One that makes red light, one that makes green light, and one that makes blue. I get it. RGB. And by mixing red, green, and blue, we can make pretty much any color we want. Like, say, purple. Or orange. Or even white. Wow! Thanks, guys. LEDs make a lot more sense now. You're very welcome, Adabot. LEDs are in so many electronic devices. Screens, billboards, even light bulbs. Yeah, it's really important to understand how they work. Agreed. You know, Billy, you may be blue, but you light up my life. Aww.